Let's look now at the omnidirectional antennas. So that's the antenna you find inside the access point itself. Typically, in that body, you see an access point, and it has an antenna inside that you do not see. That's also the one you find inside laptops. They have omnidirectional antennas as well. And that's also the case of the rubber duck, although, again, it's not omnidirectional in all directions, right? It's just on the H plane, like this. So I'm not going to open my laptop to show you uh, the antenna inside. I'll let you do it on your laptops. But this is an access point. And if you look inside the access point, there is, of course, a radio circuit. Um, and the radio circuit connects with cables to the antennas. And the antennas are right on the other side, behind a plastic cover. So those that you see on the side here, this one is a dual omnidirectional antenna. It has three antennas per band. Each of these here is an omnidirectional antenna. Of course, it's uh, hidden by the cover. But when you put this access point on the ceiling, these are going to radiate 360 degrees in the H plane. So that's the more common type of antenna you'll find, the one which is directly inside the access point. But there are a few others which are external antennas that you would connect to an access point. For example, the uh, ceiling mount or the mass mount omnidirectional antennas. They can be looking like this. So this one, for example, is a 5.2 dBi mass mount omnidirectional antenna. So it's omni, which means that it's going to have a 360 degree coverage in the H plane. But it, because it's, it has a higher gain than an omni, the result is that its coverage is going to be flatter, something like this. You see, you have a, from the H-plane view at 360 degrees, but if you look at the E-plane, it's radiating on the side. There are two big butterflies effects on the upper angles, but most of the energy is concentrated on the side. That's why it qualifies an omni, because of the H-plane, and that's why it has a gain, because of the E-plane. It can get even more powerful than this with a higher gain. For example, this one. This one is a 12 dBi mast mount omni. And when you look at the radiation pattern, same on the H plane, it's pretty circular, 360 degrees. But if you look at the E plane, it's a lot flatter than even the 5.2 dBi. So that means that with the same amount of energy, it's going to radiate much farther away in the E plane, but the signal is going to be flatter. If you have you know, an upper floor and lower floor, you probably will not get any signal from that antenna. There is one mention that you may want to be aware of. is what we call the special omnidirectional antenna. There is one type which is called the special dual omnidirectional antenna. That's in fact an antenna that looks like this. It's a 5.2 dBi dual omni. And it's dual omni because that's an antenna you typically place on a pillar or at the top of a pillar and it's going to have this kind of radiation pattern. You see, in fact, it's two directional antennas that are stuck to each other, and that makes that they radiate each of them in one direction, but altogether, they give this sort of a omnidirectional type of spread that could be considered as being an omni. But if you look at the E-plane, you can clearly see that, in fact, it's directional on one side and directional on the other side, so it's not a real omni per se. It's just two directional stuck to each other to create this dual omni effect. Not an antenna you'll find very often in offices, but in large warehouses, in shopping malls, that's something you'll find very often as well.